Laura Evans. I am Laura Evans and I'm the founder and lead trainer here at Unleash Your Potential and of course, your host for this podcast. Today's guest is Lisa Dyer. She is a master coach and helps people, men and women across the UK to create the shiniest version of them. In this podcast, Lisa is going to share with you her personal transformation so that you can start to understand just what a difference it has made to her. It's such an inspirational story. I can't wait to share it. So let's get started. So Lisa, I'd love to start by asking you a question about life before NLP. Mm -hmm. So I know it'll probably be a challenge, but can you cast your mind back before NLP and what was life like for you back then? It's quite difficult to think all that time ago. Um, it, life was just completely different. And I feel like I was a different person, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. Just, it's just, when, when you just think of it, I just can't believe it, I am just literally a different person to what I was then, to yeah. what I am today. Yeah. The listeners at home won't be able to see you screwing your face up. She's no. working really hard then to kind of go, know. I'm not really sure what was like. You can see my puzzled look. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, so like, what was the kind of thinking that used to go through your mind back then? And, and yeah. you know, what were your views of yourself back then? I always think of myself, actually, Laura, a bit like a swan. Yeah. Whereas on the surface, everything looked fine it was okay I was going ahead with things and then underneath I just felt that I was just trying to keep up with the tide and swimming like mad. What yeah. kind of made you decide that NLP might be the answer to the problems that you were experiencing at that time? Well I think for me um, I'd always heard snippets about NLP and I've always been interested in um, personal development that's always been something that I, I valued um, and I'd heard things like Tony Robbins, for yeah. instance, you know, he's always um, quoted quite a lot with NLP. Um, I'd heard um, lots of other various sort of snippets about it. And I was just really curious because I thought this could help me potentially. But I actually had no idea it would help me in the ways it has. So a lot of people talk about the practitioner course being fairly transformational. Yes. Um, it, it's, it, you know, in my experience, mm -hmm. it's the first piece, the first mm -hmm. time that a lot of people realise that real change is possible. Um, you know, that you yes. can absolutely clear out that unhelpful thinking, you can make a difference. Now, mm -hmm. later on in the show, mm -hmm. I want to talk about master practitioner because that's where the real change happens. Yes. But PRAC in itself is quite an empowering course to do. How did you find it? Um, with the PRAC, um, I found it really transformational and I think it was, it was just, uh, it, it's surreal. I think that's the only word I can really use for it is yeah. surreal because I think you start the course and you think, okay, we're learning, I don't know, a few techniques here, a few different things, but you don't actually realise till you go back to your respective lives yeah. the difference that makes. I mean, I, I had my family say, gosh, you, you... There's a change in you. My friends had noticed. I noticed myself. There were sort of certain situations where, for example, um, I'd be stressed um, previously and it just didn't bother me. I just had this sort of calm resolve and I just looked at things completely differently. I mean, timeline therapy was amazing. And the day after timeline therapy, because you do that towards the end yeah. of the course, I remember, um, it was a simple thing, but I remember driving to the course and looking at my petrol gauge and realising I needed petrol. And I didn't really know the area that I was actually in. And I remember thinking, it's okay, I'll find a petrol station. And it was a simple thing yeah. that previously would have got me in a complete stress and panic. And I'd be thinking, oh, I'm going to be late and I don't know where I am. And you know, really feeling those emotions. but. I didn't. I'm just thinking about things differently now in my everyday life. <laughs> so well, fast forward, obviously, um, you know, you'd have done the coach and the hypnosis and the time therapy course yes. next. Um, and I don't want to downplay that course, but I just kind of no. want to almost skip over it okay. um, and start to talk about master practitioner. Okay. Um, you know, this is this is the course where, um, in my opinion, truly, truly changes lives for people. Um, yes, it's the one I that agree. I love. I love, love <laughs> delivering all the courses, but it's the one where um, I'm the most proud of everybody because you mm. go put everything into practice that I've taught you and make a difference. Yes. And you know, so without me rambling about masters for the next ten <laughs> minutes, I, I'd love you to tell the listener 
what was your experience of masters i think for me masters was just that added well it was just i think the word i would use is enlightening completely mm -hmm. because on all levels i just saw such a great change for me and i think with a practitioner yes you get the change but masters was just I think it, it affected me at a deep level, mm. and that sounds quite woo-woo, I know, um, but I think it's just, it it almost gets to that. If you look at the, I don't know if you've ever heard of the personal iceberg. I think I vaguely have heard of it, but go on, tell yeah. us about it. Well, the um, the iceberg is the, the premise that um, you have the things on the surface, you know, your... Um, your appearance, um, your, your words, your sort of day to day, how you present to the world. Okay. But underneath then you have all your values, your beliefs, you have all the hidden things and things that you never question. Mm. That all drives your outer behavior, which is, is what NLP is all about, about the programming yeah. that, that we just accept. Um, and I think for me, it just hit that lower level of the iceberg and that's where I saw fundamental change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, and that's a brilliant way of describing it. I think, yeah. you know, there's a lot of coaching out there, a lot of training out oh, there that yes. does deal with that surface level stuff. And there's it nothing does. totally wrong with that, no, no, but it's no. never going to be quite as fundamentally transformational. No, you know, no. Transformational indeed. change and progress happens when we work at that unconscious level, um, at that yeah. deeper level. You know, I remember... Yes. You know, when I used to think about, I used to get really worried about presentations. I don't know about you, but yes, as so someone that used to train me. for years and still yeah. train now, um, I used to be petrified. And everybody mm. goes, oh, yeah, tell yourself it's going to be all right. And yeah. Do the positive you affirmations and, and yeah. focus, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but inside, I'm still like, oh, yeah, but I can't do it. Like, I'm scared. And what if they judge me? What if they laugh at me for the wrong reasons? Yeah. And all that kind of stuff and and you can consciously try and tell yourself oh, on the yeah. surface level it will be fine you yeah. know your stuff you've done your preparation you'd be fine yeah you'd be fine um but it when you get underneath the skin of that oh, and you yeah. actually flip the thinking i mean i remember on my practitioner course when we used the swish pattern oh that was um, you know and you go fun. from currently how do you feel about presenting to how would you rather feel instead yeah. and all of a sudden you change that um, default setting so you don't mm -hmm. consciously have to tell yourself it's no. going to be all right it just manifests it just happens yeah. like you stand at the front of the room and you start talking and you're confident you're excited you're yeah you know did you notice anything similar I mean it might not be presenting yes. but but did you notice anything similar well d definitely um a, a quite a large part of my um my, my job at the time was training um, and I noticed, I just felt completely different about it. And I don't know about you, Laura, but I used to feel um, exactly like you said in terms of presenting, you know, all those nerves and you convince yourself. And I used to feel absolutely shattered finishing mm. courses and it just completely drained me. So I do it. It looked OK on the surface, yeah. but it took a lot out of me. Yeah. And I just found that um, following NLP and, and especially the Master Prac, I just didn't feel that way anymore. Yeah. I felt quite relaxed, you know, went home and thought, oh, it's just another day. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I just, I wonder what the old Lisa would have thought about that comment. Oh, God. Like, the old Lisa would have yeah. thought that was like never going to happen in a never million happened years. In a million that's years. impossible. But, that, but that's, that, I think, is a really good point there because I think you, um, you accept things. And that's what I've noticed with, especially with Master Prac it makes you not take things at that face value mm. and you delve at that deeper level and i think that's where you get the transformation because you realize things don't have to be like you've always done them for i don't know 20 30 years things can change yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no i i kind of like a masters to a little bit like rooting around underneath the engine of a bonnet yeah, no, that's a good one. under the bonnet yeah. of an engine, even I don't know, whatever the word is. <laughs> it's a car, um, one. it's a car, right? It's got four wheels. That's about all yeah. I know about cars, but uh, you know, but but it, it does, it gets under the skin of things, yeah, um, and it, you know, it's um, yeah, yeah it's it's truly, truly transformational. Yes. Um, do you remember your ball break? 
I do vividly. Yes. <laughs> it's always I a do. highlight for everybody. Tell everybody uh, about because a lot of the listeners won't know we do board breaks on yeah. Master Prac. So tell us a little bit about how that was. Well, Laura turns you into the karate kid, <laughs> <laughs> literally. Um, but it's um, it's wonderful. I was actually telling somebody about this this week, and they looked at me like I was absolutely barking mad. Yeah. I yeah. said, "Did you really do that?" And I went, yeah, "Absolutely, I did it." Yeah. Um. You have a, a piece of word, yeah. um, and on the word you write your, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations for the future. And on the back of that, then, you write about things that may stop you from achieving that. Um, and then Laura trains you, and um, we follow something um, called... Um, Gotten the name. NLP modeling. NLP modeling. Thank you very much for reminding me. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a slip there. Um, NLP modeling, and um, it's a, such a wonderful day. Um, the room is absolutely electric. That's all I can say. Yeah. It was just, wasn't it wonderful? Oh, it's, I love it. Oh, I love all break day. Everyone just, oh, the, the anticipation. Um, so we follow the modeling. And um, we actually then we break our board, so we actually we snap the board yeah. in half bearing just in these, using your hand. And bearing in mind, is these boards yeah. are about an inch thick. They are. You know, yes. they're not paper thin. I know yeah. one of our more recent delegates on a master's program. She took yeah. a photo of her and her board, oh, and right. one of her friends loved them. Turned around and said, "Well, that doesn't look very thick. It looks like paper." No. And she was like, "Let me show you the thickness they of the thick. board. They are. Thick they are thick. Boards. They're an inch thick, yeah. twelve inches yeah. wide by about ten and a half inches the other way. So they're sizable boards." Oh, they, um, I know. And, and do you know what I love is on day one of Masters when I hand them out and I give I them to everybody that. and everybody looks at me and I go, you're going to smash that at the end <laughs> of this week. And everybody looks at me like I've gone off and they're going, really? And, and you can yeah. read the non-verbal cues. You don't have to say anything. No, you, can, you can just hear people going, right, okay. Yeah. And then we get to the end of it and then people smash them in half. And It's amazing. You know, the, amazing. the thing, if, if the listeners that you know, have never done ball breaking or never seen it before, mm. the, the, the thing to do with ball breaking has nothing to do with strength or power. Nope, and people think it's all. all to do with that. Because of yeah. the karate chopping. And, yes, you know, yes. Uh, you know, people kind of think that's what it's about, but it's just it's so not. not. It's everything to do with your ability to follow a process mm. and commitment. Yeah. And committing to the process, committing to the downward strike. Yeah. Um, and um, and doing it, but yeah, have you still got your board? I do. Yeah, I've yes. still got mine Pride as well. Place. It's great. <laughs> I love it. It's wonderful. Every time you look at it, I think it just brings you back to that place. Yeah. And as you say, I never would have believed on day one that I actually break that board yeah. just with my hand. Yeah. And I think sometimes it just, I I think it actually just clarifies how far you've come to do that it's it's amazing when you yeah. think of it yeah. and you deploy amazing. all those nlp skills i've taught everybody into yeah. that one exercise and do it with ease absolutely. and it's quite fun as well I, oh, I it love is it. it was absolutely great fun everyone as i said the atmosphere that day i, I wish i could have bottled that it was yeah. wonderful and i think the other thing is 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 yes we use it to demonstrate nlp modeling which is yeah. a, a technique used to create all the original techniques that we now teach yes. it's a fundamental skill of nlp but it's the last thing we teach yeah. because you need all those skills to be great at it. And when you you're do. great at using all those skills, ball breaking is easy. It is. Absolutely. It's just a process. It's um, it's just I think I, as you say, I think you've I think you've actually got to do it, haven't you, to yeah. believe that you can actually totally, do it. Totally. It's amazing. Totally. Totally. Amazing. So I'd like to talk, if we can, a little bit about breakthrough coaching, because the topic of this mm -hmm. episode is transformational co coaching, which is, okay. for me, is this piece about getting real change really quickly in a short space of time. Okay. This isn't about, um, you know, one session a week no. for 12 weeks or six months, like some people will do. That is not yeah. the type of coaching no, that I no, do no, personally. No. Others no. do, but I don't. I'm into transformational coaching. I'm into get the client in, help yeah. the client, and send them on their way. Exactly. Um, and obviously, as, as you'll know, part of the master's program um, all leads towards the breakthroughs. It does. Yeah, breakthrough, the breakthrough coaching. Um, and obviously, normally it would be two days mm -hmm. uh, with a client. We do one day we uh, do. because obviously yes. we do lots of preparation on the courses we go through. We do. We cover so a lot. Tell me about your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Like, how did you find it? What was it like? Oh, it was just absolutely just the best personal development you could ever wish for and I don't say that lightly I mean I as I said earlier I'm really um, passionate about personal development um, but it didn't I, I just didn't I couldn't really get my head around how transformational the breakthrough would be 
Mm. Um, and it was, I think for me, it was just getting at that, that really deep level, as I said earlier, values for me. Mm. I think that's always, um, I, I remember you saying on the course, that's always yeah. something that people find really, really interesting. Yeah. And I think you get a light bulb moment with values. Yeah. Because you realise, um, well, I, I certainly realised that for most of my life, my values had been um, working towards um, away from things, yep. and you spend fast. You spend so much energy, um, wasted energy, doing that. Yeah. So when you focus your attention on what you actually want and repurpose your values towards what you actually want, it makes such a difference. Oh, it does, not it? Completely, hugely different, yeah. hugely different. And and how did you? How did you find the kind of preparation, getting you ready for, for that breakthrough? Did you walk yeah. into the breakthrough feeling like you were prepared and ready to do it? Absolutely. I think you guided us all the way. Um, you made sure that we knew exactly what we were heading towards. So very, straight from day one on, on the Masters, um, Laura will give you um, a guide and you literally um supported all the way through then and you know exactly what the end result will be with breakthrough so had all my notes ready very prepared and yeah. it was really the process excited. was all there because we give you the yes, process don't we, we do. i don't have any steps do. the breakthrough two-day breakthrough yeah. is i can't remember now but it's all written out isn't it it is and it's you know how to do each you. technique there's you nothing do. in there that you don't no. know how to do no. Um, and then you go and deploy all your skills to transform someone else's life. You do indeed. And, yes. and how do you find it as a coach doing transformational coaching? So, oh. so you did it on someone else. Yeah. How did you find that as an experience? Um, it was wonderful. Um, as I said, it's wonderful to have that transformation yourself. Um, but I have to say it's so rewarding when you can see the difference that makes to somebody. I mean, for instance, that you know that they're going to take that change, they're going to put that into effect, and they're going to have just life, uh, it's life altering for them. Yeah. Um, but I think you, you physically see the changes. Um, and for the listeners, you know, they might be thinking, well, what, what, is, what am I on about in terms of physical changes? But I think you see a lightness in people. Yeah. Complete lightness. And I certainly saw that with them um, in my breakthrough. Yeah. It's almost as if, um, that person has unlocked something and I think that's the best way of describing it. Yeah. Yeah. And if, how did you feel like when you got to the end of doing the breakthrough with your client on yes. the course, um, you know, how were you left feeling at the end of that when you'd seen the transformation happen mm. before your eyes? Oh, um, it was just so rewarding. It was Oh, it's just something I'll always treasure. Yeah. yeah. It's quite, it, it might sound a little bit daft to say, it's quite emotional though. I mm. really think it is because um, you you go through that journey with your breakthrough partner and um, I think it's something that you treasure and you always have that, um, you'll always share that bond, I think, that you, you've been through that journey together and you've yeah. come so far. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it's I think it's amazing. It's yeah. so amazing. I mean, I, I, I always say, you know, I still remember my breakthrough vividly. I mean, how yeah. many years ago that was when I did my master practitioner wow. program. Um, you know, and I still have a connection, you know, with the person I did my breakthrough with. You know, I yeah. think, you, you know, I say to people, when you do breakthrough coaching with a client, the mm -hmm. client will end up telling you things they've never told a soul no, before. That's so and true. And they'll never tell a soul ever again. No. Um, you know, it is a unique opportunity yeah. for, for a client to come to you as a master mm -hmm. practitioner and to clear it all out. Oh, you know, yeah. I'll refrain from swearing, but, yeah. um, you know, <laughs> but, but, you know, yeah, you clear all that stuff out, you let's do. just say that. Um, yeah. You know, and it's a, it's a, as you've said yourself, it's a yeah. golden opportunity for personal development. Oh, completely. And I always completely. say to people, grab it with both hands Definitely. because don't be leaving no. having not sorted it out. And I say no. the same to my coaching clients now when I yeah. do breakthroughs. You know, this is your time. Yeah, um, it is you your know. opportunity. And, yeah, and you're in such a safe environment, I think. Um, you, you know, you, you've, as you say, we've got everything there. We're all prepared. But I think... I think it's an absolute privilege because mm. you get the personal development yourself, but to see somebody else um, and um, 
as you know, Laura, my breakthrough partner, you know, we're very close um, and we've got a really great relationship. And I know that if I ever have any wobbles, they're there for me. Yeah. And I think you get that friendship and um, that that bond then yeah. through the breakthrough. Yeah. 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 And... It, it's, uh, you know, I, I will never, ever get tired of doing breakthrough no, coaching with people. Amazing. Um, you know, to think I had a hand in that, you know, yeah. uh, you know, as we say in NLP, yeah. I'm not the one that does the changing when I'm the coach. It's the oh, client gosh. that does the changing. I'm just a tour guide. Yeah. I have the processes. I have the know-how. I have the knowledge to do, do. transformational yes. coaching. But it's not down to me to do it. It's down oh, to the client. No. You know, the client often will turn around and say to you at the end of transformational coaching oh my god you've changed my life and I, and I just can't believe I was even carrying any of that stuff no, you, don't you know and you know and, you know and I always say to the client yeah. I didn't do it you did it I know. you did it I was just the tour guide you yes. know and it's so empowering for people I think oh, when they realize as you've said yourself yeah. it can be different it doesn't it have to be, be that way you don't have to I think I think in society in general though we just think we we're so busy and we just get on with our sort of day-to-day -day lives and, and we don't cope, question. We don't do we? we cope, we do. We don't question things, but I think you can, you, you will do yourself a huge favor if you, um, well, it, it's the best personal investment you could ever make is actually doing uh, your masters, your NLP masters with Laura, of course. Yeah. Well, that's very kind of you to say okay. so. You're welcome. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, coming out the other side of breakthrough coaching then, okay. so obviously um, I know you now do that with clients and you're yes. a transformational coach yourself yes. um, and you do this um, to help other people. I do. But just to stick with you for a moment, so you came yeah. out the other side of transformational coaching, you mm -hmm. had your breakthrough, your breakthrough partner yes. did it with you. Yes. What were the kind of light bulb moments that happened for you after that? transformation uh, well <clears throat> to give you an example um, I think uh, a good example is something to do with my family actually yeah and I think we can all think of examples in sort of family dynamics where we just we go on autopilot or because I think they're quite diff different sometimes it's okay um, I, I think sometimes we're willing to challenge things on a professional level but when you talk of at the, the family level, things can be quite tricky. Yeah. yeah. And what I noticed um, from from me um, was that I was always very worried about disappointing people, particularly in my family. And I remember vividly, I'd stress completely um, about um, letting a member of my family know that I couldn't do something. Yep. And it sounds completely simple that um, not being able to do something that you, you just say, but there was a lot of emotion mm. and a lot of um, my thinking before the masters sort of centered on um, me letting them down. Yeah. Me thinking, oh my goodness, um, what will happen in the future because I can't do that. And I was blowing things way out of proportion. I can see that now completely, yeah. completely. And I remember picking up the phone quite vividly and um, it was as if it wasn't me saying the words. I remember <laughs> saying, well, actually, I can't do that. Um, and I hope you understand, but this is this is the situation. And um, And I think it was just the way I was, but that prompted them to say, okay, yeah, we understand. I thought, why on earth have I wasted all that time and effort stressing about that situation? Yeah. And I thought, that, that for me, it may sound a simple example, but there was so much emotion, as mm. I say, and expectation attached to that. And I realised that, yes, that's something the old Lisa felt, but the new Lisa can do things differently. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love mm, it. Yeah. I I always remember the end of your your breakthrough, and obviously mm -hmm. I love it when I see everybody. You know, everybody disappears yeah. for two days. I'm in the building in I case know, you need me. You're there, um, you're but I just let you go and get on with it. Um, yes. You know, and um, and everybody comes back, and mm -hmm. I love seeing everybody as they come back, all yeah. shiny, the glow back in their skin, the twinkle in their eye, True. taller, more confident. Yeah. Uh, you know, without all the baggage that they I were know. carrying, and uh, it's just. Just phenomenal. But the one thing always sticks in my mind mm -hmm. about a conversation I heard you and your breakthrough partner having in the classroom that, yeah. that final day. And it had come to light mm -hmm. that you didn't have a profile picture on Facebook. Oh, yes. Um, and again, yeah. to, to our listener, that might f seem like a fairly insignificant thing, but that was yeah. a big deal for you. That a was huge. A huge deal. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and um, there was a conversation that went on about, mm. um, you know, whether you now felt that might be something that you would be happy to do. Yes. Do you remember it? I do remember it quite vividly. Um, and um, I think my thinking behind that previously not having a photo, I think basically I was just hiding away. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, if they actually admit it to themselves, I think confidence is a big issue for a lot of people. And I think when it comes to social media, I think that um, a lot of people feel quite judged or sometimes it, it can be quite tricky to, to manage. And I think for me, I felt that having a photo was just exposing myself. Yeah. And I remember on that day having that conversation and I thought, well, why the hell not actually? Why, why, why am I, do I not have a photo? And I remember my breakthrough partner actually took the photo that day and we uploaded it there and then. And it was such, it made such a big difference because I thought, yes, this is me. You know, I don't have to shy away anymore. Um, this is me. And yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah, it. And I yeah. still to this day remember your face when you did oh, it. It was almost like it was almost like on the one hand, it was a massive achievement. And on the other hand, it was a bit like a non-event. Like, well, why wouldn't yeah. you have a picture on Facebook? Exactly. Uh, you know, know, and, and you know, it's yeah. um, it, it's just different, you know, and Absolutely. I just think, you know, even yeah. as we're just sat here chatting, you know, yeah. you know, we're sat here chatting on a podcast. We are. Um, you know, <laughs> with all these lovely people listening to, yeah. uh, to us ta chat. And, and I just think the old Lisa, if I said to the old Lisa, would you yeah. be a guest on my podcast and would you come and be part Ooh. of what we're doing? The old Lisa would have been like, oh, well, I said, well, what, what do you think the old Lisa would have done? Um, yeah, she'd be at home right now. <laughs> she wouldn't be here with you. No, <laughs> no she wouldn't. No, have. she'd be home, wouldn't she? <laughs> she'd have found an excuse yeah. not to come. <laughs> yes, she would have, yeah, politely. There'd been a crisis said, or something and she yeah, wouldn't have been here. Politely, yes, not wanting to let you zone, but yeah. politely you've come up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. you're right there. I love um, it. I love it. Yeah. Um, so you're um, in the final throes now of, of launching your business and yes. working with people to transform their lives through all it this is. wonderful coaching. Yeah. Um, would the old Lisa have ever considered setting up a, a, her own business? Oh, never. Never in a million years. I think she was just destined to just continue professionally and just to think that there was nothing else. Um, but for me, it's really opened up a huge sort of possibility of doing that. It's really exciting. I was really excited here today to come and talk about things because I think I've personally um, gained from from um, all of your courses, and I just want to 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 give that back now. Yeah. And I've seen the change, and I know how transformational that can be for others. So I'm excited about it. I really yeah. am. I yeah. love it. I love it. The old Lisa would definitely not have said that. Oh, no, like if I said no. to the old Lisa, yeah. um, you know, one day, you you know, you never know, you could consider yeah. setting up a coaching business. She I mean, laughed. <laughs> she, <laughs> she would have, she would have said, oh, you're joking there, Laura, aren't you? Yeah. And look at you. Look at I you know, now. I know. Look it's, at you now. It's wonderful. It really um, is. So, oh, yeah, it's brilliant. It's well, exciting. listen, thank you so much for coming in today oh, to share your story. Um, it's, it's been, been and, I, and I could sit here all day and talk about your transformation because oh, I, you. I honestly can remember the Lisa that walked in on day one and yeah. to see you've sat here now with me talking, confident, knowing what you're doing, setting up your business, helping other men and women change their lives yeah. um, and sharing the toolkit that we have in order to make a difference in this world, I just think is a true transformation at its you know, it's oh. cool. Um, so thank you and thank you for coming in to do that. Um, yes. If people want to get in contact with you, what's the best way for them to do that? Uh, they can contact me via my website, yep. which is the shiniestyou.com. I love it. It's I great, love the shiniest you. Because that's exactly yeah. what happened to you and what it you is. now do for other people. It is, absolutely. Um, I love it. it okay. Is. It's bringing out that shiny, shininess because we've all got it. Yeah. Oh, I so believe it. So just yeah. remind us again, what's the web address? The shiniest you.com. Love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. So I've got a few final quick questions Ooh, for you if you're up for it. Kristen, I am. I'm Come on, for it. Go on um, then. So let me throw a few questions at you. Short, quick fire and see what we can, what we can find, okay. else we can find out about you. Ooh, um, so first question <laughs> for you is what okay. does unleash your potential mean to you? Transformation. Yeah, without a doubt. And it's all thanks to you. I mean, you're amazing. I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for you. And I genuinely say that, so thank you. Oh, you're welcome, and thank you so much. Um, 
I get an odd now. I know, me Pull too. it together, Lord. Pull it together. <laughs> so, um, yeah. if you could yeah. go back to any age, what age would you go back to? Oh, I'd probably go back to about 11 because it was just so carefree and just, oh, it was just lovely. I love just, it. Yeah, great, great time in school and everything. And, Brilliant. Yeah. Cool. If you were to have a keyword or phrase okay. um, that uh, you think is like a pearl of wisdom or something like that, what would you, what would you say? That we've all got hidden depths. And I think going back to um, my love of shininess, yeah. we can all bring that shine out. It's, it's all there with you. I think you just have to, to realise that there is another way. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Mm. So Ooh, we have here thanks. the jar of Unleash Your Potential badges. Okay. Ooh, in here, there are, well, we've done a few podcasts now, but there's okay. there was about 50 odd in here when we started. All words oh. connected with NLP okay. and what we do. So what I'd like you to do is put your hands inside the jar, give it a bit okay. of a whirl around, pick a handful out, yeah. and then just pick one that resonates with you. And then I'm going to ask you what you picked and why you picked it. Okay. All right. I shall have so a go. Have a little look at what we got in there. Okay. Oh. Oh, she's uh, having a good old. I am look. actually. There's a nice selection here. Thanks. I'm glad you like yeah, my badges. I do like your badges. You've done well here. Oh, that's got to be it. It's got to be. You found it's the one. Be that. You found I the saw one. it caught my eye to start with, and I thought, I can't let that go. Fab. So what did you pick, okay. and why did you pick it? So I chose Focus. Excellent. And the reason I've chosen Focus is because prior NLP, my focus was um, very limited, I would say. And I think NLP gives you that focus to really know what you want yep. um, and to go for it. So that's why I chose Focus. I love it. I love Yay. it. Thank you. And thank you again welcome. so much for being part of the podcast. No, it's been um, a delight. Thank you so much. I've been really excited about it. And um, yeah. I yeah, love thank it. Thank you. Good luck with everything with the business. Thank you so much. Um, so I hope you've really enjoyed today's podcast and you found Lisa's mm -hmm. story really inspirational. Um, if you want to find out more about our Master Practitioner Programme or any of the other courses that we've talked about today, then just head on over to our website at unleashedyourpotential.org.uk forward slash courses and you'll be able to find all the information that you need about all the courses. And of course, if you have any questions, just let us know. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and drop us a review if you like this episode and like what we're doing. Um, and it would be my absolute pleasure to have you here, welcome you again to another episode of the NLP Talks with Laura Evans. So take care and until next time.